Hello, I almost said good morning, good afternoon, my friends. Let's try this Feel Good Friday again. So if you were here earlier today, we are just here a little bit later. We got the Wi-Fi going. I think it's gonna be great. So hopefully it will hold out for us to finish our Feel Good Friday this week. So this week we are going to be talking about getting moving. So just getting your body moving, how that might benefit you, um, and some ideas for how you might like to get moving in the future. So um, as a review, the first week of Feel Good Friday we talked about journaling and how that can be therapeutic, how different ways you can journal, different types of journaling. So we talked about that the very first week of Feel Good Friday and that is still on our Facebook page for you to um, replay. The second week, last week, we talked about how to have a restorative night in. So whether that means you like to take a bath, whether it means you like to take a shower, whether it means you just want to curl up on the couch and read a book, whatever might restore and rejuvenate you, that's what we talked about last week, some ideas for how you might cultivate that kind of restorative evening. And this week we are talking about how to get moving. So again, welcome everyone. Uh, the Wi-Fi was a little spotty earlier and we are hoping that it's going to hold out for us this afternoon. So before we get started, I wanted to let you, if you don't know who I am, this is your first time watching. My name is Katie um, and moving and getting your body moving is really important to me. It's played a big role in my life and I think it's so important for all of us to just get our bodies moving. Um, I started my own kind of routine more than 10 years ago, my husband and I own a gym, so it is. I've seen a lot of people, I've helped people create their own kind of personal routines, what helps them, and I wanna pass along some of those ideas to you today and some of that experience and the things I have learned. So the most important thing is getting your body moving it doesn't just have to be working out. You don't just have to have a gym membership and go and lift weights or maybe be on a cardio machine. That is not the only way that you can get your body moving. And while it is really important to um, build strong muscles, right, weight training, resistance training, that all has value to you um, in a multitude of ways, but that is not the only way to get your body moving. And we're gonna talk about that today. So this isn't gonna be so much, I'm gonna tell you you need to do 15 burpees and 25 bicep curls or anything like that. It's going to be more about um, inspiring you to create your own get moving routine and, and what that means to you. So as always, I have my notes right here in front of me and we are just going to go ahead and get started. So why is it important to move your body? First, and I think most obviously, we know that moving our body is important for our physical health. It not only helps our muscles be strong and not only helps us to um, be able to move more uh, limber for whatever reason you might have, but it also helps to um, get our lymph moving. It helps so many physical aspects of our life, but it can also help mentally as well. So a lot of people will work out or get moving for their mental health. So to help maybe keep anxiety anxiety at bay or may, maybe help them from feeling so many winter blues. A lot of people will um, develop a get moving routine to help that mental health as well. And then depending on what path you choose in life, um, physical exercise or getting your body moving can also enhance that spiritual aspect of your life as well um, and whatever that means to you. So those are just some important reasons to get your body moving. Um, one of the other things I love to ask people is to find a reason bigger than that though, to find a personal reason that you want to get your body moving. So an example I love to share that I saw um, a lot, I've seen a lot through my personal and professional experience is um, a lot of people love to get moving for their children or their grandchildren. So whether you have children and you want to um, give your body the best healthy chance to see your grandchildren or maybe you already have grandchildren and you want to run around and play hide-and-go-seek. Um, those are some bigger personal reasons to get moving. Um, for someone who maybe doesn't have children or grandchildren yet, it might be to be able to focus better at work or to be able to have a goal and achieve it 
or it might be the main component of that physical health. You want to take care of your body as best as you can now to give yourself the best chance to live a long, fulfilling, healthy life. So find that personal reason, that, that reason that just speaks to you and when there are mornings or days or parts of your routine that you don't want to stick to, think about that reason and that will give you a little bit more encouragement other than, well, I should get outside and walk 15 minutes today. So just take time to yourself. If you need to go back and watch the journaling Feel Good Friday, that might be a good prompt for you. Why do I want to start a movement routine? How am I going to do that? When am I going to do that? So that might be a really good thing for you to journal through or process with someone else. Okay, so I have said it on blue in the face, but simple equals sustainable. And I have found that in every aspect of my life, simple equals sustainable. And that is true for getting moving as well. So if you're someone who maybe doesn't um, incorporate a big movement and routine in your life right now, it, it'd be really difficult to go from not really having any sort of a movement routine to, well, I'm going to exercise or um, the six times a week for an hour a day and I'm going to shoot for this big, that's great. And one day you totally might be able to do that. But it's going to be a little bit more difficult to build a foundation for, with something so complex. So you want to keep it simple. You want to keep it sustainable. Okay, so a simple step. There is no shame in a small step. Small steps take us on great journeys, right? So a small step might be, I'm going to wake up and take 10 minutes every morning for a walk. Doesn't matter the distance, doesn't matter how fast you walk, it's just that commitment to yourself to get moving. I'm going to get up, I'm going to brush my teeth, drink a glass of water, and walk 10 minutes every day. Or 10 minutes three times a week on these certain days. Set yourself up for success through this simple approach, okay? Because that is going to lay the foundation. And if you have a really strong foundation, you can build on top of that and then customize from there. So we're not shooting for the six workouts a week for an hour a day. We're shooting for 10 minutes a day, a, a walk around the neighborhood. Maybe it's as simple as getting up and watering your plants before you have your cup of coffee. Just something to get your body up and moving. So that is, from there you could grow from 10 minutes to 20 minutes, or say 20 minutes you've decided you want your goal to be, I want to walk a mile three times a week. Um, maybe it doesn't work best for you in the morning, it's in the evening, you want to take your dog on a walk in the evening. But lay out that foundation, decide when it takes a little bit more work, right? A little bit more work up front. And in order to see that payoff, you're going to have to put in a little bit of time to look at your schedule, look at yourself, decide what day, what time is going to be best for you, and then schedule that out. And then I always say have a backup plan. So I used to do this with clients all the time. Have a backup plan it's because life happens and plan A isn't always going to work. So what's your plan B? If you can't, you get up and you decide to walk outside and it's raining on Tuesday morning, what do you do? Are you going to work out or do your walk or whatever it might be on Wednesday morning? So decide that for yourself and then you can build on that. So um, here are just some different, I think this is really important to highlight different ways to move your body because again, typically when we hear about let's get moving or movement, we just think the stereotypical, I've got to um, grab a dumbbell and a barbell and that's what I have to do. I have to lift weights and I have to run on the treadmill. And that's, this is coming from someone who owns a gym and, and values strength exercising and cardiovascular exercise. I value those things and I, I see the benefits of them. But again, that's not the only way, okay? So I want you to really think about, here are just some ideas that I jotted down. Ballet. Amazing. And uh, everything that I want to talk about right here, I know that there is a local business or company or contact that you can find in order to find what works for you and then uh, work on developing that routine. So ballet, dance. There are multiple businesses here in Putnam County that can help you get moving through dance and ballet. I have friends who they find so much joy 
in ballet and dance. It's a different type of exercise that really motivates them and gives them something to look forward to. You might look into strength training. There are so many gyms, and not just my gym in Putnam County. There are so many gyms in Putnam County that can help you get moving. Try out different ones. See which fits your schedule and your taste and what you like the most. And then maybe find yourself get uh, hooked into a class or a personal trainer at that gym. Find something that can um, speak to you, feels good, feels like home, and you can get um, in that routine. Um, another kind of spinoff from the gym is powerlifting. There are so many fun um, things you can do in powerlifting, and the powerlifting community is so strong. Um, no pun intended. Yeah, that pun was not intended, but it did work, didn't it? Um, so when I think about communities um, with exercise, I also think about CrossFit. There are so many CrossFit gyms in this area, and I really think about the community and what that offers in their their small community within our larger community. Um, the same thing goes for like Ironmans, marathon runners. Y'all are superheroes, and there's a really strong uh, community within those events. Um, you might try boxing or TRX boot camp style type classes. Those I've heard will kick your tushy. Um, and then there are other things like Pilates or yoga. You might really enjoy those classes and again I know of classes and studios that would be love to have you as their guest and love to invite you in and see if that area of fitness or moving works for you and then um, two of my favorite outdoor types of get to get moving or exercise hiking oh my gosh if you have watched or your children have watched any of my story times I talk about hiking and getting outside breathe the fresh air move your body sweat a little bit it's fantastic um, and then kayaking talk about a shoulder workout kayaking will definitely serve you in that area um, and then let's not forget about housework guys uh, that is a way to get moving it may not be your traditional strength training or a class but doing housework can be exhausting. So let's not forget that when you vacuum, scrub the floors, do the dishes, that all is some physical exercise to get you moving. You may not think about it. Something else that's really small you might not think about. Park your car at the end of the parking lot. Walk the long way. Take the stairs. <gasps> Miss Bethany, I just saw in the comments said she re recently tried to sup, so that stand up paddle boarding, and it was really fun. That is going to involve balance and strength, and you get to be outside in the sunshine, which is a little chilly today, um, and out in nature, so that might be something fun for you to try as well. So, um, going back to when you want to think about this uh, movement routine. Think about how you might be able to de-stress from it, how it might be able to enhance your life. Because something I've found um, in my professional life before the library, um, and even just seeing people at the gym, is one good habit often leads to more great habits. And I've never been one uh, to promote restriction, you know, to promote uh, getting rid of things. Rather, I have always been an advocate for adding in good things. So don't think of exercise as a punishment or um, to, to develop a good mindset around exercise and getting moving. Don't think about it as a punishment. Don't think about um, it in the terms of some sort of restriction. Think about how much value getting moving and physical exercise is going to bring to your life, what it could potentially bring. So think about if you swapped, Not I'm not saying here that maybe sitting down after a long day of work and watching some Netflix or YouTube or whatever you watch um, is a bad thing. I'm not saying that. I just told you I'm not one for restrictions. So I'm not telling you to cut out Netflix and go run three miles. What I'm encouraging you is to think about if you replaced one episode of your favorite show, so it might be 20 or 45 minutes, um, with a walk or 20 minutes to help prepare uh, for the next day so that you can ensure that you meet your workout or walk or whatever you have at your active time. Um, replacing and incorporating those good habits, so maybe switching something for a little bit better, is gonna help you make even better 
decisions. So um, small examples might be like the TV or maybe you drink a little bit less caffeine in the evening and you're able to get to sleep better. So first off, you're eliminating some caffeine from your life. Two, that might help you get to sleep a little bit sooner. And that getting to sleep a little bit sooner might help you wake up a little bit earlier. And then that working up, waking up just a little bit earlier might give you just enough time to get a lap in around your neighborhood before work. So think about those things. Again, develop this healthy mindset around movement because too often we associate it with, again, punishment, restriction, just negative things. And we want to think about all the positive influence that getting moving can have on our life. Um, so before I kind of wrap up so with some final thoughts, as always, I will give you all some an opportunity to ask any questions you might have. Um, and if I don't get to them in this live video, I will go back and answer them later. Um, so while you all are thinking about those, or maybe tell me your reason for moving, whether you already have a moving routine, whether you want to start one, if you want to tell me, again, Facebook doesn't always show me all of the comments while I am live. But um, I think it'd be a really good idea to bounce off of one another. Why you move your body, what benefit that has had to your life. Um, while I look over my notes real quick. I think that I covered everything that I had. Yes, so obviously to, to just wrap everything up, the best part of, um, for me personally, moving my body and working out has exponentially improved my life. I, like I said, I've been, had some sort of routine off and on, it comes and goes, um, for over a decade now. And I do want to say that uh, one final point here is what worked for you, I'm speaking on personal experience here, what worked for what works for you now may not be what worked for you three years ago or a year ago or five years ago we all go through different seasons in life um, and so that may not work for you now so maybe don't set your standard on that version of your life and you and your get moving routine what you want to do is really evaluate again you've got to put in this front work and that's going to help you really keep this sustainable and throughout um, more seasons to come. Think about where you are right now, what is most doable for you, and build on that. Remember, simple is sustainable, lay that strong foundation, and then you can start to mix and match and build things on top of one another. So, um, I do see that Miss Bethany said moving with a friend can be helpful for motivation. I agree with that. Group classes are a fantastic idea for that. Um, some sort of accountability, even if it's just texting, maybe your friend doesn't live around here and you all can't go to class together. Maybe it's you text your friend and you say, I signed up for this class, make sure I go to it. If I don't, this is, <laughs> this is what I want you to have a little chat with me about. Um, so yes, thank you all for joining me. Uh, even though it was late today, we usually do these at 10 a.m. on Friday mornings and I will be back talking about my favorite subject of ever. <gasps> food next week. So we're going to talk about how to maybe create a good meal just to nourish your body, to maybe set the table, light some candles, and freely enjoy an evening feeding yourself a delicious meal. So um, don't forget the library will be open tomorrow. We are back open on Saturdays from 10 to 2 and the library is fully open right now for you to come in and browse pick your selections, or you can always call us and do contactless pickup. So thank you all for joining in. I will see you next week or maybe tomorrow morning for story time. Bye.